Hello, all those beautiful people that are out in YouTube world. Uh, it's me again. It's been two months since my last video, and I, I'm sorry for that. Um, first thing I would like to say is I'm extremely insecure today. And I know when I listen to this, because I watch all my videos after I uh, record them to see if, oh my god. <laughs> type thing. Uh, I know my voice is probably sounding like a cat being thrown into a blender, so I apologize for that. It's kind of what I have to do to get it where I need it to be. So, please bear with me, and if, like I said, the rules usually are, if you don't got anything nice to say, don't say nothing, because I don't want to know. Uh, and second of all, I apologize for how I look. I'm not really... I don't feel very pretty today, so, but I think it's a good thing that people see me in my good days, my bad days, my ugly days, my in-between days, so, ta-da! <laughs> well, it's been two months since I last seen everybody, or since you've seen me, and um, a lot has happened. Not necessarily all of it having to do with transitioning or being transgender. Um, a lot of it has to do with the great thing we call life. <laughs> Which, boy, it can kick you in the pants. So first thing I want to say is... I left off my last video. I had touched on that um, I was having problems getting to see my nurse at the time. Because my nurse had some medical issues going on. So the appointments got cancelled. And rescheduled, then cancelled, then rescheduled. So that was a bit frustrating and was upsetting me because this particular appointment was to be for the fact of increasing my estrogen. So I've been patiently waiting. So, and it took a while, but finally, at the beginning of August, well, not really the beginning, but mid August, uh, it happened. And it was nice because I got it increased a little more than I was anticipating so I'm, my dosage that I'm taking now is higher than what I was hoping for so which is exciting because since I've been taking that uh, some things have been starting to happen for me um, these are starting to come in slowly and yeah I know it's yeah it's nothing uh, trust me I know it's nothing but it's I'm moving forward also, um, I'm starting to gain more weight on my butt. Uh, mind you, I'm doing things to try and help that too. Uh, and my my weight is shifted down a little bit where you can actually see my waist a little more. Uh, which is very encouraging. That really makes me excited. Now, <laughs> lately, I don't know what's been wrong with me, but I've been obsessed with my butt. Like, I've been like, oh God, you know, does it look okay and blah, blah, blah. It's... It's, it's crazy, and I'm sure after I'm done going through that, I'll be obsessing with my chest. So, <laughs> it's just part of the part of the deal. Um, my hair is definitely getting a lot longer, which is nice. Uh, the, the front, like the top part, is almost to the back of my head, which is encouraging. Only problem is, I got really wavy hair, curly hair. So, when um, we hit really, really humid weather, like we've had for the majority of the last two months it goes poof and it looks like uh, if it was the 70s I'd be rocking an afro like you would not believe but that's not the look I'm particularly going for so <laughs> it's been a little discouraging so that's why I'm starting to you know try some different things to try to help um, I'm starting to wear more feminine clothes Again, helping. Uh, the sad thing about all that is that there's some clothing I I know I could wear that would accent kind of like some gains I've made physically, um, but I can't because I'm still dealing with some bits and pieces where there shouldn't be any bits and pieces. <laughs> so, but that actually goes into a point, and I really don't want to forget it on this video is. A lot of people have thoughts, opinions, and stuff, and one of the biggest thing is 
what's between my legs right now. And I want everyone to know, um, I'm the unhappiest person about that more than anybody else out there. And if I could go and have that fixed right now, it would be done. So done. But that's not how it works. Unfortunately, I have to deal with the waiting game. So I wish people would like lay off. You know what I mean? Like this is not, you're not telling me anything I don't know. And like I said, if I could change it faster, I would. And I'm trying to, tr I'm trying to get through this transition in a timely manner. I'm not happy um, when I shower that, you know, m my body is slowly starting to look more feminine. That's a good point. And then I look in the mirror or whatever have you and then I have to deal with the aspects that aren't feminine and it's heartbreaking it's devastating I, I it's not a fun thing to go through um, even to the fact that my face itself is still very male looking and and I know that because I keep getting misgendered so again things if I could go like that and it's all fixed and I'm all better yay but that's not how it works so you know I know I've come a long way to where I started and I'm grateful for that and my physique is the same thing um, but I am envious I am I look forward to the day I can walk out of the house and wear what I want to wear and not have to worry about being misgendered and not worrying if people are going to think I'm a boy in girls clothes not worrying if I got my bulge hidden right not worrying if I got chest hair not all these things and these are all realities that I face um, with the hair ass the hair part about it as uh, I went a week ago to get my sixth treatment done on my face um, so my face, I don't know how bad it looks, um, but it's it, one of those points um, in the treatment that it doesn't look the greatest, So, which is a little discouraging, but it's part of the process. But I'm getting anxious to get this done so we can move on to this part, right? Like I said, my, my breasts are slowly coming in. They're not saying, oh my God, type thing, but when I'm topless I'm starting to feel more like me when I look down but I got hair there it's not like anything over the top but it's something that's um, takes away that nice feeling so I can't wait to actually get the treatment done here so this becomes no longer an issue um, my basic you lately of how I see me physically has not been the most positive. I've been struggling a lot with that and I've been mostly struggling with it alone. Uh, actually Anastasia lately has been really really good trying to help me but some of these things you can't you just can't fix. So I'm trying to stay positive, I'm trying to stay patient, and I think that's the biggest issue I have, sorry, I play with my hair because I know it looks, uh, um, but I just want to get there, I just want to be the girl that I am, and I don't want to be stuck, you know, um, other than that, uh, my paperwork, has been submitted to the government to have my name legally changed uh, and have my gender marker changed. So if everything goes okay and there's no issues or no f ups anywhere, my name should this should all happen right around the time that our firstborn is due. So that's exciting because I'm going to be sharing something special with um, well actually. We know we're having a little girl so it's something I'm gonna be able to share with my daughter and that's exciting for me we're both kind of being born uh,
the same month kind of thing. So I'm hoping it works out that way. But since I mentioned our little girl, um, Anastasia is doing well. She's had a very bumpy, bumpy second trimester, which has stressed me out a lot. Um, her belly's starting to get big. And it's kind of funny because as her pregnancy is moving forward, I'm noticing for me, um, my biological clock is ticking. Which is really strange because I spent my whole life, you know, trying to portray this image of what I thought a boy is supposed to be. And, and I had certain views and ideas and feelings about the whole having a baby kind of thing. But since I've come out, that's pretty much non-existent those views and feelings I originally had now it's like I my ovaries hurt I I I'm I, I see a girl with a big old love bump and I I'm I'm jealous because I want that I want to experience that and I know that's never gonna happen for me so me and Anastasia have been working through that she's been trying to pull me in as much as she can so uh, we have a name picked out for her but I'm not going to say yeah. I'm excited. I, I'm starting to realize that I can, I can do the things I've wanted with her. I can be who I am with her. And my little girl is going to know me. And not this role that I played as Joseph. And I'm happy for that. Because... I don't want them to know that person. I don't want them to have to try to wrap their minds around that. They're going to know me from the very beginning. And that life before is just going to be in photos. So, I have and that makes me feel good inside. Um, my day-to-day -day life has been going half decently okay. You know, I've been getting misgendered a lot lately. Um, which has been really bothering me a lot, upsetting me a lot, because again, it reminds me that A, you weren't born in the right way type thing. Um, and I don't want to be reminded of that. I'm reminded of that enough. And I know it's not malicious, right? It just, again, <laughs> I look like a boy still. Um, which really bothers me but I want people to understand that <clears throat> some people may not agree with me morally or may even see me as a fetish kind of thing or whatever what they seem to forget is I'm a human being I'm a human being that's struggling with some serious stuff here and all I want is to be me I want my body to reflect who I am. I want the right bits and pieces to reflect who I am. Um, I, I want to be me. I don't want to be packaged in the wrong box, if that makes any sense. So, uh, I started work again, driving a uh, school bus, well, school van. And this time I got some youngsters, which is really exciting because uh, young kids just have so much life to them. They, they have the innocence of them. The way they view the world is so refreshing because as adults, we, we get sucked into the BS of everyday life and stresses. So spending time with them helps me realize what the important things are in life. And it, it makes a difference for me emotionally. Um, and I'm kind of glad because the parents of the kids that I'm driving know I'm transgender. Um, they're very positive. They're... I'm positive about this whole experience. I think this year is going to be a really good year for me. So, and I'm excited to see where it goes from there. Uh, but other than that, there's been a lot of stress. Um, not necessarily with Anastasia, but there's been some external stressors happening, which has been creating a lot of issues for me. Um, aside from the stress itself, 
and I've realized that the stress levels that I go through either helps if it's low or doesn't help excuse me um, when it's high and, and it's been really hard like I said I've been feeling really down about myself I've been avoiding mirrors lately I've been I've just been I've been just, just been sad lately um, I'm trying to start through all these things and try to uh, you know take as much stress as I can out of my life and we'll see if it works one thing I did want to mention is transitioning and for me personally as I transition it's hard when I need people there or I need someone there and then there's no one there and Anastasia she's been ill lately so she's been trying her best but you know <laughs> she can only do so much right like I'm really disappointed because, you know, there's some people in my life that I would have hoped that would have had at least enough common sense to at least check up on me and make sure I'm okay and how I'm doing and that, and it's not happening. Um, which has sent me into some dark places. Nothing bad's happened, thank God. So, uh, <laughs> yeah, there's just been so much, like, up here I'm tired. I'm really tired, I'm anxious, I wouldn't, I just wanna, I just wanna be able to walk out and wear a dress, I just wanna be me, I just, I just, I don't wanna be, I don't wanna, like, I don't wanna feel like a freak, I don't wanna feel like an oddball, but, that's what's happened lately so um, I'm sorry this isn't the most upbeat video uh, I'm sorry again it took so long uh, I'm planning to do another one soon because I'm sure I'm gonna finish this and go oh I forgot to see this and that and this and this and, um, I do thank everybody that does take the time to watch this um, I thank everybody for showing the love and support that they do do does help. Um, I want the world to understand that I am a person with feelings and what you're witnessing is me freeing myself and it's not some fad or it's not some fetish thing or some kind of freaking mental illness or anything. I'll be honest with you, the people that think that this is a mental illness, and by the way, I've had that one thrown at me lately. If you think I'm mentally ill because I'm transitioning into the woman that I am, I'm actually one of the most stable individuals you'll meet, even with what I'm going through. So, maybe you should do some research and understand what mental illness really is. And until you do, do everybody a favor and shut the fuck up type thing, you know, I just, I, I, I hope that I could be strong and a positive role model for people, um, transgender, non-binary, cis, it don't matter, I want to be a voice of positivity and hope and hope's an important thing, and <clears throat> my voice is, yeah, I'm going to cringe when I watch this, I know I will, but, again, thank you, I, I it means a lot to me, it really does, um, everything, the good stuff that's happened to me, I hope that I am informative. I know I'm not very flashy and entertaining to watch, and that could be dull. I apologize for that. But I want to probably cut this off because I'm going to hit 20 minutes again. That seems to be my thing. Um, so if you watch this whole thing, thank you. Um, take care of each other. Love one another. You're not a freak. You're not an outcast. You're different, yes. But being different is a good thing. 
Um, I want everybody out there to love one another and respect one another because at the end of the day, we're all human. And I look forward to seeing all of you again. And uh, we'll talk about more stuff. Take care of each other.